Welcome to Specific Love. This is part two in our deck building series. In part one, we went about building the frame and getting everything connected to the house and nice and rigid and sturdy as the frame so we can start building on it. For this video, we're gonna hopefully get the guard post in place, get some of the decking laid and get the stairs started. Let's begin. And as I said with the frame, always double check with your codes and your permits to make sure you're building it to code so you don't have to go back and fix it later. Now before we start just putting our posts in place, we need to know the exact layout of everything. For example, where are our steps gonna be? In our case, it's gonna be over here on this side, so I gotta take that in consideration. And I need to know exactly where everything else is going to be post-wise before I start just bolting them in place because they have certain regulations of widths they can be. Now I have some of my posts in place and I have through bolts holding them together. Now some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, you haven't put your decking on. That is true. The reason why I'm putting some of my posts on first is I wanna make sure that this side, the decking that I put on first here, will be nice and flush and I don't have to worry about it overhanging too much and being a problem with some of the posts. Now on the inside of my posts here, I have this extra bracket that provides extra support for the top through bolt that's going through this post. And I have it connected directly to this joist so this post is now really rigid and I don't have to worry about it wiggling at all. Now as you're putting your first decking board down, it's not only a good idea to make sure it's straight, but also to put weight on it from above so that you're pressing down and you know everything is gonna be nice and secure to the joists. Now when you're trying to put decking on, you'll see that of course it flexes a little bit right here. It's not fully flush against this board. And so I have this new tool here that puts pressure against your joists and allows you to now straighten out that decking right there. If you can look right there, you'll see it moving just very small. And that is a great help. Now, if you look real close, you'll notice that on most of these boards, I do not have any gap in between them. And that's because I'm using pressure treated wood that is already really wet from the store. So therefore, as it dries out, it's gonna contract and create its own little gaps in between the wood. Now, if by chance you're using wood that is already dried out, I strongly recommend sticking a small nail in between each of the boards and that'll allow it to have room to expand and contract over time. Now, when you're choosing your decking, there's something really important to remember is what type of wood you're gonna use. Yeah, you know, wood is wood, but there's a premium wood decking and a standard wood decking. In my case, I chose a premium, because if you look here, you'll notice that there's almost zero knots in the entire deck. There might be one here and there, but with very little knots, this wood should last a long time and look pretty for a long time as well. Now with all the deck boards in place, it's time to start installing the stringers for the stairs or the support railing for them that goes actually under the stairs. I made a bunch of measurements on here so I know exactly where each of the stringers are gonna go, but first I have to start to tend to the ground that it's actually going to sit on. Now before I attach those stringers to the deck, I first had to figure out exactly how far they were going to reach out because I had to dig a footer for them. And that's because my deck is directly attached to my house with a ledger. So if by code, it's required in my area to dig a footer for the steps. And if you look over here, you'll also see that I dug out the ground. That's because it was a hill sloping down and that would be a trip hazard coming off those stairs. So we had to first level this area out and there's a good chance I may even have to add an additional step over on that side. Now the next step would be actually cutting out the stringers. But I've had a ton of rain in our area the last few days, so it limits my ability to go outside and especially film it. So I decided to create a template in my workshop of the stringers that I'm actually going to use. Now you do not have to make a template, but in my case, I'd rather do this than waste a two by 12. Now, to calculate your stringer, each one's gonna be a little bit different for your deck and how high it is, so I suggest just going online and looking up one of the calculators. It'd be a lot easier than me trying to explain this. So, now that I have this cut out, I need to go outside and test and see if it fits. Now I just ran these outside and they are a perfect fit. Now I'm gonna put these on top of the two by 12s and we're gonna cut out the stringers. Now as you're cutting out each of these pieces for the steps, you do not want to overcut or that could weaken your board. Once you get it pretty close, then use a hand saw to cut it the rest of the way. One down, three more to go. Now to attach the stringers, I'm using these concealed brackets that allow you to have plenty of nails going into your deck 
and into your stringer to provide plenty of strength and it's only connecting on the inside of the board so you don't have an ugly looking piece of metal on the outside. And like I mentioned in the last video, if you don't have a palm nailer to install all these nails, I strongly recommend getting one of these. It makes it so much easier. Now to keep these stringers from rotting prematurely, I'm gonna install a two by 10 below them and actually bolt this to the concrete footer below to give it strength and then nail the stringers to it. And that should keep the stringers off the ground and hopefully not absorb as much water and prematurely rot. I just got done running in trying to save all my tools from the rain. I'm soaking wet. Have you ever been in the middle of a project and it just started raining on you? Well, it has rained here nearly every day for the past two weeks. Oh man, that makes it difficult to build a deck and especially to film it for you. But I'm here for you and I'm doing the best I can. So with that said, once I had the stringers secured at the top and the bottom, I started to apply the steps, which I'm just continuing to use the decking material and not just one inch thick, just like, of course, I used on the deck. Now, some people like to use a two by, which is one and a half inch thick, but to do that, you would have to adjust all the stringer measurements accordingly. In any case, I'm using the decking. Now keep a lookout for part three of this deck building series because we're going to be installing deck railing, but we're not going to be using wood. We're going to be using metal. So it's a cool little feature. I hope that's going to turn out awesome and give you plenty of ideas for your future deck building ideas. So keep a lookout for that. Otherwise, get on your shop and have fun building. Decking, pressure read, read, read. Two by five. All right. How far the? I cannot talk right now. Ow, funny bone. Not so funny. Ow. Like the dead, the dead, the dead.